Hey guys, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Got a few things I want to show you. I want to take you around the farm. I want to show you my garden. That's right, I've been hard at work planting my garden down here. Going to walk you through it, show you, tell you about the things that I planted this year. Also, uh, got a little solution for a problem I have. I've got a water hose ran way far back in here behind my house and down to the uh, garden just because I don't know exactly where I want to put my little hose bib later on. My problem was my water pressure was really low and I'll show you the solution here. I'll take you in the garage and show you how I'm going to build this little hose attachment thing to keep my water pressure really high in the garden so when the rainbird thing goes to water my plants it slings water way out instead of like so here we go, let me take you down, show you the garden, show you what's been going on on the farm. And it's been really rainy, looks like the sun's coming out behind me. Really pretty outside right now, so we'll take you down the garden. All right, come along with me. Woo! <laughs> Guys, we got a new addition to the Stony Ridge Farm family. My mother gave me something very cute very sweet and very neat. Check it out. Ducky duckies. <laughs> hey guys. What's going on guys? So about two days ago my mom calls me and says, hey, I got some ducks. Just so happens the mobile coop is empty now because we've got all the chickens in the freezer. So mobile ducks into the coop. I don't know what to name them, so I want you guys to name them. That's a male duck and a female duck. So give me some good names for my duckies. Here is the garden. This is the garden for this year. Now let me point and show you what I've got. Right here is a flower garden. This has clover and different types of wildflowers in it. And then up here I'll show you, those are potatoes. I've got a rows of tomatoes, another row of tomatoes, squash. Back here I have my cantaloupes and my watermelons planted. And we're gonna do corn way back over here. Guys, if you look down the rows here in the garden, I basically did raised beds kind of in the garden. I took my tractor and I drove through here and I made tracks, real, really heavy tracks so I would have a walking path and also a place for water to puddle. I was having a big time issue with water puddling up in the uh, garden and you can see right here I've got some water puddling and it's been raining for probably I'm gonna say a good two and a half hours and most of the water has migrated to my little puddle areas right here versus drowning my plants so that's pretty awesome right here this is all row of squash these will be all tomatoes and that's tomatoes and we've got about 140 tomato plants also this is a half a row of squash and then on the other end I have my uh, kale and uh, a couple different types of lettuces and we'll take you down and show you those and right here is my watermelon and uh, cantaloupe patch. So here's the orchard guys. The orchard's looking really good this year. I've got my fence up but I don't have it energized and I'll show you the fence. This is my deer fence right here and it's a specific setup uh, where I have three strands in a specific manner. There's a video I made about the perfect deer fence and this is the perfect deer fence. It keeps the deer out of the orchard. So here are the honeybees and they're pretty close to the garden. I didn't want to aim the hive directly at the garden just because I didn't want bees flying in my face all the time. But as you can see the bees are in pretty close proximity to the garden right here. So right here guys I got some pretty awesome lettuce coming up. I planted these from uh, plants that I got from the store from Lowe's. And then we're going to do our own little row of lettuce by seed right here. And I also have some kale right out at the end of this row. This is our cabbage. It's kind of getting worms in it. I'm not spraying though. Uh, here is our broccoli and our cauliflower. And it's starting to get little heads on it right now too. And also the chickens. So guys, since we last came down here, our chickens have really started laying... Our uh, baby birds have started laying and they're laying all over the coop as you can see. Right here is one and we'll move this into the egg box right here. Basically we're putting eggs in the egg boxes here to try and t entice the uh, new baby birds that are laying to uh, lay into the egg boxes. They're doing pretty good. You guys got a little water in there too, huh? I'm not to worry about watering the chickens today. 
Let me give you guys a little chicken lesson. So when hens are really young, they don't know to lay in the nesting boxes over here. All they know to do is lay an egg wherever they sit. So you've got to train your young hens to lay in the laying boxes. And what we do is we put little fake eggs in there, or if they do lay an egg out in the coop, we'll move that egg over into the laying boxes. And eventually they'll be trained to lay in a laying box over here and not in the floor of the coop. <laughs> Roosters are very loud today. At least twice a day you need to get your eggs up, okay? So we got to go into this nasty coop with our flip-flops and get that egg. Let's do it. Ugh. I got a better idea. Let's get a rake and get that egg. <laughs> Here comes my little egg. Come on, guy. Come on, little guy. For all you purists out there, I'm not gonna eat that egg, okay? An eggshell is a semi-permeable membrane and I am not going to allow myself to eat chicken poop if I can help it. <laughs> so let's check out the water hose. Let me show you what I'm talking about for our pressure problem. The water hose hole is huge, but the hole to the little splitter that allows me to split to three and four different water hoses is not huge. So what I'm gonna do down here at the garden is hook that hose up right there over here inside the garden and I'm gonna put huge ball valves on there, three quarter inch ball valves on there. That way I don't lose water pressure and I get the full effect of my well pump shooting water out. I'll take you in the garage, we'll show you how we build this contraption. Guys, I can't tell you how happy I am that it's finally spring. Look back here, everything is just turning really green and beautiful. I'm so happy to have you guys to take you along with me to show you what's going on on the farm. Hopefully you learn a little something, you have a little bit of fun along the way and we build some stuff together, we do some stuff. Subscribe to the channel guys, if you're not already subscribed, give me some thumbs up. Give me some feedback, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Give me some comments. What do you want to see? What do you want me to show you? So now we're in the shop and we're gonna make this contraption. And basically what we're doing is taking where we turn our water hose on and running a pipe out and putting three splitters on there, but we're using these big ball valves right here. And you can see how big this hole is. It's a three quarter inch pipe. And you see as I close the ball valve right here, we want to get good water flow and that's what the whole goal is right here. So we've got to cut a few little pieces of PVC about this big and we're going to glue this thing all up and get it together and I'll show you exactly what it is and we'll show you how we're doing it. First thing we got to do is go ahead and cut our lengths of PVC and we need one piece. It doesn't really matter how long it is. And then we need three pieces that are similar length and we'll cut three more pieces out of this piece of uh, PVC scrap that I had. Now we got our pieces, we'll take our a little bit of sandpaper and clean up the edges and uh, get them ready to glue and I'll clean this stuff out with a knife. Basically this is called reaming. I'm going to arrange these parts and show you how everything's going to work, okay? So here's all of our parts. I'll explain to you the gist of it. Basically water goes in here and goes through these three splitters and I have three valves to control everything and these are fittings that fit the PVC pipe and they go to uh, water hose size. So we're going to slap all this together and show you what it looks like at the end. So as I put all this together, I'm going to make sure that I have everything nice and primed with PVC primer and then we're using some clear PVC glue. So we'll go ahead and start putting everything together here, okay? Eek! guys this is our finished product this is our contraption right here and basically the way it's designed is so that water can go in through the top here from our hose bib and I have three valves to control the water I'm not going to turn the valves right now because the glue is still drying but basically I got all these parts at my local uh, hardware store and uh, we made this contraption that's going to allow water pressure to be higher down at the garden and we run a hose basically 
I'm going to say it's 500 feet all the way from our hose bib down to the garden. This is a temporary thing. Eventually we'll put a hose bib down at the garden, but until then, this is what we're going to use to keep our water pressure up. And we have huge ball valves in here that's going to allow the full three quarter inch water hose or whatever size of water hose. I use big commercial water hoses, so allow the full amount of water to come down through there. So anyway, guys, that's it for the vlog today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment, give me suggestions. If you got any suggestions about this kind of stuff, let me know. I'm always open for any kind of suggestion. If you got a video or something that you want to see me do or anything like that on the farm, give me, give me some uh, suggestions. Give me some comments, guys. Leave me some thumbs up. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And we're going to put this thing to work here probably yeah, sometime in the next few weeks. We're getting plenty of rain right now, but we'll give it a test run. Make sure it's going to work right. I'm pretty sure it will as long as I got all my fittings nice and tight. So that's it. Thanks for watching the vlog, guys. Come on back and see me. All right. We'll go down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids.